Hello everyone, my name is Nono98 Ben, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. And today's episode, we're going to be building all of this behind me. Uh, and there, oh, there's an iron golem that just fell there. And basically these are 27 iron golem farms. A few of them have already been built, but I wanted to show the, the building process of the last ones, which I, are the ones uh, I think right behind me right there, and then all these towers here. So I think we built like six or seven towers in this episode. But anyways, this is all in preparation for the 1.14 update because that is going to be coming out fairly soon. I think it's less than a week away now from when I'm recording this. Uh, but anyways, if you're curious to watch the entire building process, I'll have that in a time lapse in the video description below. And then I also have a showcase where I showcase all of the uh, Iron Golem farms in a separate video that'll also be in the description below. But anyways, I'm just going to be showing a little bit of the building process today and I hope you guys all enjoy today's episode and subscribe if you enjoy. Alright, so now that the finished product has been officially seen and toured and finished up and pro probably already polished I guess, uh, that's, that was the goal at least. Now we get to show the process of me building the remaining 18 of them. And right now I only have the 9 built and I'm still working on trying to get these villagers all fully fed up so they can breed enough. Oh, almost forgot the glass. But I've been really busy digging holes. Got that hole there, that hole over there, and then we have another hole right here. 8 hours of digging without a beacon because I don't have a beacon yet is quite exhausting. I think we'll need about half a stack here. If I get some extra villagers, I get extra villagers. I can I can always kill some off eventually if I really need to. Like that one's got seven in there, you can see. Maybe eight, I don't know. But uh, that one's got a ton, because I think I when I brought them up uh, with minecarts, that's what happened there. I brought these three up uh, all the villagers up in this one with minecarts, and then this one I brought up with bubble streams. And the bubble streams went a little bit smoother, so I'll probably use the bubble streams for the rest of them. Now, I just have to build a killing chamber on the bottom here, and I have to be careful not to hit that <laughs> that dirt block I put there. Because knowing me, I probably would. But I just have to build the killing chamber like we have on the other one over there, and then we should be all set to start building more of these while the villagers are breeding over there. And look at that, we already have the iron golems starting there. So that verifies it. I wasn't really sure if these were too close to each other or not, the iron golem farms. I was kind of doing a guess because I wasn't even sure if this would work. But this does verify that we can put, or at least should be able to put all 27 iron golem farms here at spawn and that's what I needed right there but I gotta get a killing chamber for these guys before they start stacking up I think before I finish building it I should show how much iron I actually have and I actually have more than I thought I did but I converted this all into blocks and this is probably about I don't know how many hours but it's probably about two days worth of iron of gameplay of AFKing and building and all sorts of things but I actually need some of this iron so I can finish building I gotta make some hoppers for the other thing over there and now we're starting to stack up some iron golems I think I'm up to three or four in there now alright then and just like this we should have what we're looking for I got most of this uh, suffocation chamber in here and basically how it works is it's just like the one over there but if you haven't seen it I gotta put in the pressure plates first though you should be able to stand on these pressure plates and that block comes out and forces the iron golem to suffocate and automatically kills them instead of me having to manually kill them, kill them or whatever so I think that should do it that should be enough for what we're looking for and I just gotta head up there and get rid of that block it looks like five up there then four or five there we go go one by one
I'll even do it like that. Get rid of a few, and that should be it. And that should suffocate them all, and we'll see how much we get then. There we go. And let's see what we got. We got... In the time we were building that, we actually got quite a bit. Not bad for just a few minutes of um, recording, and ever since I fed them, that's how many we got. So, good deal, and now we just got to add in the chests, which should be around here. But I got to fill in all this as well while I'm at it, too. Alright, and just like that, everything is finished over here, so... You come up here and you have your killing chamber and you get all the iron that will come down in here. It's safe and not much to worry about there. So now we should probably see if we have enough villagers to fill that one. Or we should just start building another one of these cells. But I, I think regardless, I'm just going to be building another one of these cells right now just to get it out of the way. Alright, so we're making lots of progress on this one here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just kind of going to show off a little bit of building them and then I'm just going to end up doing time lapses for the rest of them just so it seems a little bit more interesting and this way you can see the the full fledged building process it takes to build a full 27 of them because it takes a lot of time to, to build these up. I think like it takes me about an hour to do one of these stacks so I'm probably just going to do the time lapses and call it uh, call it there. What I what I do to build these here is I have it a double double thick on the bottom so that the water doesn't drain through. That's why it's a double thick so that it looks a lot better from the exterior and you don't see all the dripping particles cuz the more particles you have, the more lag you're going to have, especially when you have I mean, five villagers, or at least you're supposed to have five villagers in each cell, in 27 cells. You're going to have about 270 villagers at spawn, and that is a lot of entities. Uh, you can't have as you can't have any particles underneath here. So um, to do that, we just have the double thick over there. And it's only the bottom layer of these, just to avoid those particles. And other than that, that's pretty much the only different thing that I do when I'm building these things. Of course, now that we have all the, the water in the first layer of this 10th Iron Golem farm, we just need to install the doors. And one thing I've been trying to do with the doors is I've been trying to make them look like it's double doors next to double doors next to double doors, where it looks symmetrical, because I don't like the random door... Uh, dorkiness I guess you could call it random dorkiness <laughs> but so far this project's been quite I've spent quite a bit of time on it already and I mean I'm I'm guaranteed at least 10 more hours of this project which is ridiculous so we got 10 more hours of the project approximately if everything goes according to plan and then from there we should have enough iron golem farms to afk and then i don't have to worry about iron until a very long time from now when a good iron golem design or at least iron golem farm design is released because that way i don't have to worry about creating one and trying to figure out what to do to, to make it work and I still got to protect all my villages too so that's something I can work on in the next upcoming episodes I plan on going to the end pretty soon because we found that about two episodes ago two three episodes I don't know how many it was I don't keep track of it that well hope I messed that one up maybe not so bad Nope, I didn't mess it up. Good. And so the next part on the list here is to 
to uh, put this little edge on here, and then from there we can start the next layer. And this one isn't a double thick layer, because that would affect the efficiency of the farm. So I just keep this one the one thick one. But this is uh, where it just gets really tedious. I mean, this is my tenth time building this. And I went like a month without building them, and I had to completely relearn how to build them. <laughs> that was kind of fun. And then, um, like, I had the first three... I built the first one on camera. I think it was episode 14 I did that. And then I did the other two off camera, and then I did these two off camera, and so I had five. That was the last time I was at spawn. So I had five of them completely built. And then I built that one, and then I'm like, I got motivation, so I built the three in the middle. And then, of course, you know the rest of the story where... We got the villagers in there now, and they're all working, or at least I hope they're working. I should probably go check on that in a little bit to make sure that it is still working, because I haven't seen any iron golems fall from it lately, so I might also have to check the villagers to make sure that we have enough. Alright, so iron golem farm number 10 is done. We have 17 left to build, quite a bit of them still, but I think the rest of them I'm just going to be doing time lapses for, so that it's not doesn't like I it's not like I cut in and cut out here and there every two seconds and action is missed. So I'm just going to do live streams, not live streams, time lapses for the rest of the 17, and we will see you if anything interesting happens.
All right, so while I was building that, we got about this much iron, which isn't too bad for approximately, I don't know, it took me like an hour and a half, hour 15 minutes to build each tower. So it's about five hours right there, uh, and that's how much iron we got in five hours. But I think this one, last time I checked, there wasn't enough villagers up on the top one. So um, I think since I ran out of wood now, I can't really build the other remaining six towers, or six uh, cells, but we have two more towers left. I'm probably going to cut down some wood here and move some villagers, and then I'll go back to building that, and we can finish it all off. So I'm stuck here. I can't move. I'm trying to move, and I can't move at all. I'm stuck from the entities. <laughs> I put the villagers in a few of these now. I got all the villagers in, and I'm stuck. I can't get anywhere. So I'm currently editing the video, and I noticed that I made a mistake in this farm over here. I think it was this one. Yep, yeah, right there. I made a mistake. <laughs> I can't believe I found that mistake there. Oh, jeez. Hopefully this doesn't do any... Oh, man. Can I go down? Oh, I did get it. Jeez. So the project's all done now, and... Okay, why are you doing it that? There you go. That works. Is that better? There you go. We got it now. So now that this is all done, I can show you guys the entire thing. I'll probably climb up a ladder and show you guys quick. Alright, so we're at the top now, and you can just see how massive this project is, taking up the entire spawn chunks. And it's unfortunate that this farm design won't work anymore, and it's, it's a lot harder to make an iron golem farm in the new update so I'm happy I got a bunch of iron already I hope I can get as much as I can within the next week when the update comes out on April 23rd but I know when I was walking over here the other day it was like two or three days ago because I, I finished this project a little while ago I need to get my armor back on so I can walk I discovered something and I want to show you guys and we're almost in view now. I can't remember exactly where I saw it. But I last episode we built the clock tower. And there you can see part of it now. Just got to go one more chunk. And it should load in. There it is. You can see the clock tower there. And then if you turn around, you can see the entire, or at least half the Iron Golem farm. Which is crazy to think that the base is so close to this Iron Golem farm. To me, that's just so bizarre. So as this project winds down, this was one of my goals that I had when I started the series was to build as many Iron Golem farms at spawn. And when I began the series, uh, what we weren't it wasn't known that these were going to be changed in the new update, the Village and Pillage update, and now they're going to be changed. So I had to speed up my, my process and my progress on this and just go ham on it and build as many as I could in the shortest amount of time possible which ended up being successful but anyways I would like to thank everyone for watching this was an absolutely huge project I'm very proud of it I'm very excited to, to get as much iron as I can we've already gotten over two stacks of iron blocks as of the making of this video but I'd like to thank everyone for watching don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's episode. And as always, have a good one.